How to make your file sizes smaller in Jewelry CAD Dream. Okay, so after a long build and you have quite a complex history, you can sometimes find that you have a fairly large file size, sometimes you know up to uh, half a gigabyte or more. And there are certain ways that we can reduce this file size. Okay, in order to understand how to reduce the file size, you first need to understand why the file size is so large. So I'm going to create a new file. Uh, just a generic template just to show you an example. Okay, so we have our part level and I'm just going to bring in a primitive block at the origin. Okay, so this is a shape. We have a single shape here. Okay, it's added into our history. Okay, we have the operation there. Now if I exit into my root level, okay, you can see that we have the parts here. If I turn my graphic on, we get a view of the parts, it's just the um, cube there. Okay, so this will take up very little space uh, in terms of file size. It's very simple. Now, the file size starts to add up when we have many more operations, and in particular, when we start to add in components. Okay, and components make up many of our operations. Okay, all these bezels, our settings, all of our gemstones, our parves, they're all components, okay? and uh, a component, if we bring in just a simple stone, okay, is basically a part that has its own history. Okay, so when we insert a gemstone, okay, it is a component, not a shape. If we exit into the part level of this file, okay, we can see that we have a new part added into our root. This is the gemstone, and now our main part has become an assembly. Okay, it's a combination of different parts. Okay, and the part this component, the gemstone, if we double click on it, we see that it has its own history. Okay, so we can access the component history from the root or by double clicking on the component in our current file. Okay, so here we have its own history for this component. Again, okay, this is why that uh, when we bring in components and start adding these into our build, they can increase the file size quite large because they have their own histories. Okay, these Y settings, they have their own histories and Obviously, some parts are going to be more, some components are going to be more complicated than others. Okay, and another thing, whenever ever we tweak uh, a component, whenever we modify its parameters, uh, something happens to our root. And I'll show you. So let's make a change, or an obvious change. We're going to change, make this very large. Okay, it looks ridiculous, but it's just an example. I'll confirm. Now I'll exit back into my root. Now you see we have three parts now. Okay, so we don't just have well, this is the part that I want to talk about. We have our gemstone, we have the original wire setting, and then we also have the tweaked wire setting. Okay, so we have two parts for this single wire setting. Okay, so if we were to modify this tweak again, uh, let's redefine the tweak, or in fact we'll redefine the original wire setting. We'll change some things in here. Let's increase the prong diameter to top. Okay, let's also I'll cancel out this tweak. Let's also um, tweak this gemstone larger. Okay, let's also bring in another gemstone. We'll just do a princess there. And then let's delete it from our history so that it's never there. Okay, let's see what happens to our part, our root level, sorry. So we have we have um, our wire settings. We have the princess stone. The princess cut stone that we deleted from the history is still in our root environment. We have uh, our modified um, gemstone there, and we have our wire settings, all the different uh, wire settings we have there, even our original uh, wire setting that we tweaked uh, a second time. Okay, so what's happening is every time we make a modification to a gemstone, or a component, I should say, Every time we bring a component into a build, whether or not we keep it in the build, okay, even if we delete it and never want to use it again, 
it is still added into our root environment. So at the end of a long build, chances are we're going to have a ton of parts in our root environment. And many of these parts, okay, we won't even be using. So if I save this file now, save it to my desktop, part 7. Let's check out the size of it. It's 3.83 megabytes. It's not huge, but this is just an example. So how can we make that file size smaller? Well, we've got all of these unused parts that are no longer needed in our history. Okay, so um, what we do to clean up this file and minimize the size is we shift select all of the parts. Okay, just pick all of the parts and we hit the delete key. Okay, so they're gone. Now we enter back into the assembly and we regenerate the history. Okay, now it's going to regenerate, it's only going to bring back in the parts that are used in our history build. Okay, so our root environment, you see we have less parts here. These are the, only the parts that are used in our history. Okay, so if I do a file save as now, smaller, and check it out. It's 2.37, whereas the other one was 3 point something. So we see we've made it smaller. Now, there is something we can do to make it even smaller than, than this, and that would be to delete all of the parts and save it okay let's see how big it is now it's uh, 100 kilobytes so 0 0.1 megabytes so it's tiny um, okay the only thing when we save a file in this manner okay there's going to be no components in our part level until we regenerate the history Okay, so it is possible to save the file very small, we're just saving these history operations. Okay, but then you're going to have to load up the file in the software. Okay, and there could be some issues if it's a different version of the software, but it should be fine most of the time. Then we regenerate to bring back all of the components that are stored in our history. Okay, so there's a few ways there to make the file size smaller. I would recommend this method, okay. I wouldn't recommend erasing all of the components and just having the history because it could lead to a few uh, issues if, for example, you want to open up the file um, much later on in time and you have a different version of the software or something, or a different setup, it could lead to some issues. So there are some ways to make your file size smaller.